Hey everybody, on this installment of Summer Shooting Tips, I thought it'd be fun to take you actually inside my buddy Al Krause's shop, Black Hills Archer here in Rapid City, South Dakota. We're gonna go inside and I'll kinda take you behind the counter, behind the scenes, if you will, of what goes on at a high level pro shop. The way they ensure that you can become a better shot every year. Very interesting, come on inside. I mean, they got it going on here. We got awesome mounts of owl shot. Big old Cape Buffalo with bow and arrow. Incredible. Check out, they got, check out this display of morel targets. Of course, Al is one of the biggest archer dealers in the country, specializing in all kind, but he's a, Huge. He sells it all, but he's a huge Matthews dealer and does a great job and takes care of all my bows and arrows. And so we're going to take you and kind of show you some things here about what goes on behind the counter to ensure that your bow is in perfect working order. We're dating back 1998 MQ1. I tell you, especially this time of year, a month away from hunt season, it is crazy trying to keep everybody up and running and getting them ready to roll for the hunting season. And there's a lot going on to get people shooting good. I mean, if we can get Blanton shooting good, I can guarantee you we can get anybody shooting good. So anyway, MQ1 from 1998, heading into the woods in a month. And pretty much how we do this all the time is when a customer comes in wanting fletchings or arrows, I want to try to find out Obviously, what draw weight, what draw length, what weight tip, what configuration they're running up front. But most importantly, what broadhead they're running. Depending on what kind of broadhead they're running, whether it's mechanical or fixed, is going to dictate what kind of steering they want. Whether it could be a 90 degree four fletch, could be a left helical, um, whatever. It has, all has to do with the steering of the broadhead, so that's where we start. Okay, here's another thing that I know it's super, super time consuming, but it's really important to me and my customers is, you know, we love, we love our QADs or HDXs and everything, but I've never been really happy with how, what they send along for covering of the prongs. So what we do is we, I heat shrink them with wool and then we wrap them, we lace them. And what it does is just makes just a bomb proof system here that's going to last and last that other stuff when it gets cold it tends to start peeling off so so that's important and dusty he's over here working on a actually had this machine machined for me about 20 years ago uh it's a second third axis machine and it's a good start you know we get our first second third axis is done but you really need to get your third axis finalized at full draw but this will get you in the right direction as you can see it's it's just a sweet little setup that we had machined years ago and it's a good way to get you started get you out in the field but you do need to really fine-tune your third axis at full draw based on how you're shooting so this is a great start As you see, we got Jacob here, just working with a hooter shooter. And this is just a super great tool for uh, checking your timing, you know, versus old school when we used to pull a bow back and have another guy look at the timing. So this we can get in here and we can just fine tune it all to perfection on your timing. So tell me what you're looking at there. Uh, just right here, the nubs on the end of these modules, just making sure when I back it off a little bit, you can see it moves away from the cable. And then you can go click by click with the hooter shooter, which is nice. You can see they're just both barely not touching the cable right now. Give it two more. Now they're both touching in perfect synchronization. Most importantly, you know, a bow is only going to shoot as good as it's tuned. So if you get a new bow or you're interested in it or whatever, go to a pro shop and have a pro shop work with you. 
most importantly, get the bow fitted to you. Get the draw length right, get the peep pipe right, help them give you some instructions on shooting form. And you get all that done right, get a bow fitted to you, that's where you're gonna start shooting the best.